Greetings and salutations everybody, Lord X here once again, and today we're going to go over some more comic books. I've got five books here, three Marvel, two DC to go over, and I've got two blind boxes, one Marvel, one DC. So, uh, let's get things started. First off, we have issue number five, a variant cover of Rocket Raccoon. Boom, there's Rocket and Groot. This is the week of Groot variants, too. Uh, Spider-Man and a couple others actually had Groot variant covers. Very tempting. Didn't jump on them, though. But yeah, there you go. Rocket Raccoon. Next up, we have issue number two of Deadpool's Art of War. And there we have what appears to be Thor... But, I think if you take a closer look at the face, this kind of looks like Beta Ray Bill. Which would maybe make some more sense in this context, I don't really know. But, uh, yeah, there we go. I, I really like the simplistic, but really artful design of these uh, Deadpool Art of War covers. Last up, on the Marvel side of things, we have issue number four. Book 2 Inversion of Avengers X-Men Access. And I just got through reading this, and, um, wow. Absolute wow. The, uh, stakes have gotten extremely high in this, well, part one of the second chapter, I guess, of the Access event. Um, this is Hulk, by the way, or Call, K-L-U-H. Hulk spelled backwards. <laughs> um, yeah, he's an interesting fellow. Uh, as for the X-Men up here in Apocalypse, yeah, that, that scene with them, <laughs> holy crap. Things are about to get real in the Marvel Universe. There was also one nice little event in this book. Uh, a robbery had taken place. A guy known as the Squid had his gang taking a family hostage. So a uh, figure comes to save the day. That figure? Carnage. <laughs> uh, Spider-Man shows up near the end goes inside because like oh shit carnage is there I've got to stop him the gang's all webbed up the family's safe and carnage had left Spidey a note saying uh, you're welcome from your friendly neighborhood's carnage so uh, yeah Spidey's like wow that's disturbing you can look up my tweet I actually tweeted out a little photo of that so yeah access really loving this book so far Rick Remainder, absolutely doing a great job writing all of these characters. And I look forward to the next issue. I, I really am. This event has gotten me back into actually reading comics every week. Alright, time to go to the DC side of things. And first on the DC side, we have issue number two of a Lobo. One of the very few DC comics that I'm collecting at the moment. Nothing really to say here other than the fact that it looks like Lobo has a lightsaber in his hand. Well, a lightsaber mixed with a katana. As you can see. Huh. Cool. Haven't read the first issue yet. And finally, also on the DC side of things, we have issue number one. This is the main reason why I picked this up, because I do like picking up uh, number one issues. But when it's a character like this, you know I have to, because it's the first issue of Deathstroke, who is a badass. So, yeah, there you go. Issue number one of Deathstroke. Alright, now it's time to dive into the blind boxes. First up, I have another... Guardians of the Galaxy mini bobblehead figure. And today's goal... One of the two Nebulas. 
wouldn't mind either the metal Ronin or metallic Ronin, glow Ronin, or glow Drax. That would be cool too. Oh, the Ronin isn't a glow one. Never mind about that, but yeah. Let's hope for something we don't already have. So, pulling the box apart, throw the box away. Oh. And we have in our possession a exactly the same Star Lord that I already have. So, yeah. I like Star Lord, but I would have really preferred one of the characters that I don't have. Alright. Now. Finally. We have another Scribblelot Series 4 blind box. And, once again, these are the guys that we can get. Once again, I am hoping for Constantine, or Catwoman, or Batman Beyond, or the Gold Cyborg. Wow, the tape is strong with this one. This off here. Hoop. Ow. Fuck. Wow, this box does not like me. And today's figure is... <laughs> we got the Maxwell cosplaying as Superman again. I got the rare one again. Well, this one can actually stay in the plastic bag. I, I don't know what to say about this. This is my kind of luck, I guess. Wow. Okay, well, that's going to do it for the comic shop pickups this week. Some great comics. Two blind boxes of things I've already had. <sighs> But anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Lord X. You've been awesome. Go ahead and buy some comics, and I will catch you next time.